everyday life. This is the damage roadmap. Because here are my plans, and they're just going down everyday life. Just, hey, what are you going to do today? I'm going to be a court. Hopefully not that long. Maybe. The judge kept it still seven last night. You're going along in everyday life, and then all of a sudden, and, and all that time, Johnson & Johnson, who've known about asbestos in their power, the earliest I can find, of course, they've destroyed a lot of the records, but the earliest I can find is 1958. They're telling the world, buy and use our baby powder. It's pure and baby safe. And they're telling me, you're using it, and your life's going fine, and it's been going fine. And they got struggles. Everybody's got struggles in life. That's the way life is. But, but you're on that road of life. When all of a sudden, you get told you've got cancer. And not just cancer, you've got a cancer that kills 70%, 75% of the people who get it. And you're reeling from that. And you've got to figure out how to tell your loved ones. And you divert from the road of life into a damaged swamp where there is no exit. This is where you'll live the rest of your life. The rest of your life you live in this swamp. You tell your loved ones. Figure out how. You have total life changes. You start changing your schedule because you've got to put in tests and it is critical you do it fast. The cancer's eating inside your body. You're scheduling surgery. You're facing all of the risks that come with surgery. You're looking at loss of body parts when they take out your fallopian tubes, your ovaries, your uterus. You're looking at the fear that goes with all of the surgery and all of the treatment and all of the worry. You've got to get your house in order because you don't know if you're a survivor and for how long. You've got to figure out your future. You've got to figure out who takes care of your children. You've got to deal with chemotherapy, not just the hair loss, but the sickness, fatigue, the nausea, the diarrhea, the sleeplessness, the ability to function normally. The work issues, how are you going to handle that? How are you going to handle the pressures of losing your job or not being able to go to work? What about those who have seizures? What about infections, surgeries for poor? What about neuropathy with the pain in your extremities or the loss of sensation for the rest of your life? Your body is scarred. You lose the ability to have intimacy. Some for a long time, some permanently, some for a shorter time. You have terror. You have pain. Some get remission only to have reoccurrence or be worried about reoccurrence. Some have worries, the cancer spreading. Death is the final destination for some in this swamp. And for those that aren't, there's survivor's guilt. There's medical monitoring, the expenses associated with that, the early menopause without necessary hormone help, the fear that comes with all of that, the changes at home, the effect as you watch it change your loved ones, as you watch your kid drop out of college to try to take care of you, as you watch your son give up a career to try and take care of you and be there for you. And you get one trial. You get one trial out of all of this. This is the one for each of these people. If this cancer resets up, they can't come back and ask for another day in court. This is it. So when you get to that damage figure, please, please, please think through. 